Hello, hello, D-Rock here, You First Outdoors. Welcome to the channel. Hope you all are well. I'm going to do a quick little review today about a piece of gear I recently purchased and am very happy with. As you can see, got a nice big chest pouch on here. Uh, if you've seen me in some of the canyoneering videos or hiking videos, I'll be out. I'll usually have a small chest pouch on. Uh, that's cool. I, I like the little chest pouch made by MLA Canyon Gear. Uh, it's more, more kind of geared toward canyoneering. Uh, it's uh, uh, got some mesh in the back. It can drain and water and whatnot. It's small, small enough to hold a small waterproof camera or something like that. Anyway, I like the idea, and I wanted something larger to accommodate a little more gear. So if I have a backpack on, I have gear readily accessible here, so I don't have to take a pack off and whatnot. That led me to this, which is the Hill People Gear Version Two Kit Bag, and. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, so I'm just going to do a tabletop review real quickly of it. Uh, there's lots of videos out there about the specs of this thing, which is cool. I'm not going to spend too much time doing that. I'll go over a couple things. What I wanted to try was a nice hike, uh, a few miles going up, cross, a little bit of climbing involved and whatnot to see how this felt. If it moved around, if it chafed me, if it was comfortable, I predicted it'd be hot and it was. But um, that just comes with the course, you know. So uh, that's where I'm going to lean into as far as the review-wise. So like I said, quick little view of this thing on the tabletop, and then uh, let's give it a whirl. All right, first things is, uh, this course is a chest pouch. This is where it goes on your chest. I'm not a big dude, between 160, 170 pounds, about 5 foot 10. So as you can see, this pretty well takes up the upper portion of my torso here and um, putting this thing on is really simple once you kind of get your straps all the straps are you know adjustable just one little thing off to the side there take the hat off and comes off real easy a look at the front there and then of course at the back the back is just this square mesh which is good, uh, it allows for ventilation. And simply putting it back on is just as easy. Just keep one arm unlatched, or I'm sorry, one side unlatched, and put it back in. Simple Simon, yeah, really nice. So I of course won't be using this uh, kit bag or chest pouch while I'm canyoneering. This is specifically for uh, hiking backpacking and uh, sometimes I'll find myself up in the mountains in bear country black bear country to be more precise and But that'll probably turn into a grizzly country as I venture into Wyoming, Montana and hopefully in the near future Alaska But uh, I wanted something that of course could hold camera um, Phone some other stuff and and also my bear protection Which is a full-size pistol of course and I want something that could uh, be somewhat discreet so that's another reason I went with this here, and I'll show you why. All right, so at the back of the pack is the large holster area, if you will, for a full-size pistol, or any size, I suppose. And what it does is it's got a little Velcro run down the side. You can attach a holster to this to make, uh, to if you want your pistol safe. If I keep a little, there's a, a notch down there for a tie-in such as this for like a vanguard style holster for the pistol and this will accommodate like i said full size so mine is a 10 millimeter i keep that in there and uh drawing is really easy you just keep some of the zippers tabbed up up in the corner here and then i can do a demonstration with it on me but uh if while it's on your chest you just pull this down and the pack opens like that where you can retrieve uh, your weapon if you find yourself in a situation. And as you can tell, there's, the zippers are big, easily to grab on, functions really well. There's the main compartment. Very large zipper for this one. And this opens to and your, your main compartment, like I said here. You've got some pouches here, right there for storage, and then you've got a Molle style uh, area right here where I've attached light, uh, uh, a blade, 
So this will accommodate a lot of gear. And then of course, you've got a front pouch here, which also opens up. And you've also got more pouches inside there and more space. So you can, you can stuff a lot of gear in here. All the buckles are burly. All the buckles, of course, are able to adjust straps. And then, like I said, on the back, you've got the mesh. And underneath, you've got spots here for uh, attaching things, whatnot. All kinds of stuff you can add to this. Yeah, so, sky's the limit with this thing. Get close up with that big front zipper there. Also, the stitching looks really good. Heavy duty. I'm a big proponent of stitching. It looks good all throughout. It's a solid pack. For sure. If you are going to have to get to uh, your protection quickly, like I said, the, the very back compartment here is the large area where you'll put a pistol and it's kind of its own holster, but you know, you can always add another holster inside that if you're um, concerned about safety. But uh, the biggest thing is to kind of keep a spot here open like that, just a little bit unzipped. And I'm kind of going off what I researched as far as this pack from the actual company's website and uh, videos. This is exactly what they say to do. You keep this little spot open here. And to access it, you simply grab, you keep the other, the larger zippers here on the main compartment right there, and just pull down. And you have access that easy. So, pretty simple. Nothing too complicated for that. So at the same token, uh, this would accommodate a lot of fishing gear too. If you're hiking into streams or lakes or whatnot, you got stuff a bunch of stuff in here. You've got your pliers, forceps, lures or whatnot, line. I mean, it could hold a bunch of stuff. So that's kind of handy too. You have a tackle box on your chest. Gotta love that. And one thing I was a little concerned about with a backpack is the sternum strap. I mean, I was concerned the sternum strap would get come here or whatnot, but you can adjust this pack and it's pretty simple because of the buckles right here. So if you want to bring the pack down to where it's, for me, it'd be over the top of my stomach here, which is not, not so bright, but I could definitely adjust this to where my sternum straps would be. And Jin, if you want to bring it up, simply just pulling these as such, and you're up higher. And then on the sides, of course, you can adjust them to tighten right there and right there. So, I mean, this is all easily done. Not a hassle. Sits tight, doesn't move, pretty stoked. So that being said, let's go take this thing on a hike and see how she performs. All right, so I'm out here with the Hill People Gear chest pouch and we're gonna give it a run. So we're gonna do about a four mile hike. It involves a climb and then coming down this mountain here called Red Mountain. So I just wanna see how this thing feels. I still got a small backpack on, but um, I anticipated it being hot, <laughs> very hot. Uh, it has phone, it's gonna hold the camera, and also my uh, potential uh, bear protection, if you will, since I do go out in the mountains, but that's in there as well. So it's got some weight in it, but it's sitting really comfortably, and uh, we're just really gonna see how this feels on, on the, the whole hike and climb here. I've gone about a half a mile and still quite comfortable. It's not really too hot, but this is a mid-December day, so it's kind of cool out here. One thing I was curious about is uh, I had to lower the, the, the chest pack a little bit to get the sternum strap across, which it's not a big deal. And I was curious if the straps would, uh, would bother me when I have the backpacking straps on top of them, but so far, no, no uncomfortableness and uh, it seems... It's really solid, it's not moving around. As you can see, I'm not a big dude, so the, uh, the chest pack here takes up my whole chest so I could put uh, a full-size pistol in it and have no problems carrying that. A bunch of other gear, like I said, it's got my phone, the camera, and some other stuff in it. So it's actually quite comfortable. It sits very well, and uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. So we'll see how she feels on the climb up. All right, we've been a mile in now and uh, feels fine. A little warm, of course, but uh, that's to be expected. 
given it size, but no, uh, it hasn't like rubbed or chafed or anything like that. It's actually quite comfortable and snug. It's not moving around. I don't have any dif uh, um, discomfort on the back or my pack sitting. So I'm digging it so far. All right, so pack's definitely hot. I'm either sweating because it's humid out here or this is just exacerbating it, but uh, I knew that was gonna be something that came along with it. I was concerned while we're hiking up, as you can see, but uh, if it would mess with my breathing, being across my chest and everything like that, but um, so far, nothing out of the sorts. I've got weight on my chest, but uh, I'm not having any more of a difficulty breathing than I normally would walking up something steep. So I think it's good to go in that regards. Still fit and snug, no chafing, no discomfort. Uh, my back's fine. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. No problems, feeling good. Snug, no chafing, a little sweaty. That's about it. Feels great. Okay, well, a little under four miles, and uh, the hill, hill, hill People gear, chest pouch, did everything I was expecting it to do. Hiked, climbed, jogged, and it stayed put. It wasn't uncomfortable, a little warm, but that's to be expected. Uh, no chafing, the front was fine, my back was fine. No, no problems with straps bothering me with my backpack straps on it. So there you have it. I'm, uh, I think I'm happy with the purchase. So we'll return to the tabletop and go from there. All right, well, I think it speaks for itself. I was very impressed with the way it handled on the hike and I don't have anything, well, I guess if I could say one negative thing is that it was really hot. But like I said, I predicted that. I figured it'd be that way. There's really no way around that. And that's about the only negative thing I can think of. Aside from that, I'm very happy with my purchase and uh, uh, the durability of the pack is uh, what's really impressing me. I think this is gonna last a long time. So I see multiple purposes for this thing. Hiking, backpacking, holding, bear protection, to camera gear, to fishing gear. So a lot of applications for this. Yeah, I get a lot of use out of this. Well, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe out there. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. Support's greatly appreciated. Quick shout out to our subscribers. Thank you very much for sticking with us, as well as our patrons. We appreciate you greatly. We'll see you next time. D-Rock out. Adios.